Good morning, and welcome to Holy Spirit Parish. Today is Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Good morning. Our Mass intention is Good morning, Holy Spirit Spirit Victor Parish. Parish. And welcome to Holy Today Spirit is Monday in the 23rd Isaac. week in Ordinary Our Time. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Today's Our Mass, mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Parish. And welcome to Holy Today Spirit Today is Monday in the 23rd Isaac. week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Today's Our mass, mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome to today is Monday in the twenty third week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Our mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome to today is Monday in the twenty third week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Our mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome to today is Monday in the twenty third week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Our mass intention is Good morning. morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome. Today is Monday in the twenty third week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Our mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome. Today is Monday in the twenty third week. Our celebrant today. Good morning. Our mass intention is Good morning. Will be Father Ruth. And welcome. Today is Monday in the twenty third week. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Will be Father the Lord be Welcome. with you. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the My Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. Today is Martin and Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. We celebrate the Mass for Labor Day. I will celebrate the Mass for our Lord for Labor Day. For these we pray. Work again for our Father. I will celebrate the Mass for our Lord for Labor Day. For these we pray. Work again for our Father. I will celebrate the Mass for our Lord for Labor Day. For these we pray. Work again for our Father. I will celebrate the Mass for our Lord for Labor Day.
The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we once again celebrate the holiday of Labor Day, we give thanks for all those who are employed. We ask God to continue to bless them. And we pray in a special way for those who are unemployed at this time, that they may 
be able to soon find work that is suitable for them and their families. On this Labor Day, then, we give thanks for the talents that God has given us so that we may be able to work for the good of all. And we pray then that we may continue to live in faith and hope in the Lord and trust in his goodness to us and to all who continue to work for their families and for their friends. And we pray that as we receive the Eucharist today, that our faith may always sustain us and the Lord may continue to bless us with work that is suitable for us. Please stand now for our prayer of the faithful. In faith and hope, we place our petitions before our Heavenly Father this morning. For the church, may Christ continue to be her refuge and strength against the evil present in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For political leaders in our nation and our community, may God give them the courage to lead in sincerity and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle within the bondage of sin, may the power of the Lord Jesus deliver them from its grasp and grant them a contrite heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For teachers and catechists, beginning a new academic year, may God be their guide as they share the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for our special mass intention today, for Victor Krobach, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, may the Lord have mercy on them and gather them to his side for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And now we can add our own special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us recite our parish prayer. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, you told us, us where your treasure is, is there, there your heart is also. The parish of the Holy Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice to love, to love, and, and to, to build, build in your name. Guide, Guide us by your spirit, spirit of wisdom. Give, give success to the work of our hands. And keep, keep us, us in your peace. Saints, Saints, martyrs, and Mary, Mary our, our mother, mother pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth and work of human hands Christ. will become for Lord us the bread of life. In our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands 
will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here nourish the human race with food and renew it with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy, deacons, and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer one another now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you have given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustingly build up your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and live the gospel. Thanks be to God.